Com. Welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. I am so excited that you are joining me today. It is Thursday, November 16th, and um, we have an amazing seasonal sale going on right now. Oh my gosh, if you haven't already, then you definitely want to check out this sale. It ends tonight, though. You only have a few more hours. Let me show you. <laughs> uh, during the seasonal sale, you'll get 10% off ribbon and trim, 15% off inks and markers and ink refills and Stampin' Blends, and 20% off cardstock, envelopes, designer paper, uh, memories and more cards, all packaging, things like that from the annual catalog. So holy moly, get over there, get some shopping done. If you've already been shopping this season, I'll say it. leave a comment, let me know in the chat. What have you been getting? What have you been stocking up on? Um, I'm taking the seasonal sale as a challenge to share with you projects tonight that use the September through December mini catalog bundles and stamps with annual catalog designer paper that's on sale. So I I have a very interesting set of projects. <laughs> I say interesting because the color combination is pretty non-traditional. All three colors that we're going to use on our projects tonight is this beautiful combination of Berry Burst, Bubble Bath, and Pretty Peacock. And these are all returning and new core colors to our color collection that came in the spring. Do you guys have these colors? I really love them together and I hope that you love the cards I'm going to share. I'm a little worried because two of them are like Christmas cards and so if you don't love pink for Christmas then you might be throwing tomatoes at me but I do have some alternate color combinations to show you and so hopefully no matter what colors you use at home you'll be inspired. I want to ask how you're doing on that 30 days of Happy Meal Challenge. I issued this at the beginning of the month and asked you to join me in sending a card a day every day in November to spread some love and Happy Meal to our friends and family. And yesterday I was reminded of how important it is to reach out because so many um, of our loved ones may be dealing with things that they don't talk about and um they might be really quiet and we will never have any idea of the things that they're struggling with so um i feel like it is so more important it was important yesterday but even more important today that we um reach out to people we haven't heard from in a while send some happy meals send them a smile say hello reach out say um and connect i think that's so so important so Join me in connecting and sending Happy Meal smiles across the miles with every card that we send, even if you don't make it every day. Just make it a goal to send more cards and reach out to more people because one more than none is just as important. Um, all right. Oh, it's okay, Fonda, if you didn't join the challenge. And like I said, just join now, right? Start every day now. Uh, maybe you do it for December, or maybe you do it November 15th through December 15th, or whatever. Anyway, make it a goal to send more cards. Share more Happy Meal. Um, and and that's okay if it's not a card every day. Maybe it's five cards on Monday and, you know, two cards on Friday or whatever. Again, it's just about um, sharing, sharing more Happy Meal, sharing more smiles. Um, I love that. I'd love to see that you're sending your Thanksgiving cards. I have some cards to share with you. I'm like, you know what? Let's just start there tonight. I, I'm afraid I'm going to forget. And so I, fe I feel if we just start with start with the Happy Meal that I got, then, um, then we'll roll into the other projects. So this one just arrived today. Oh my gosh. I love this. This card is from Karen Nevin, a Thanksgiving card using some circle dies and the decorative circle punch to make a pie. Oh! Is that just the cutest thing ever? I love this so much. A little piece of the pie on a plate and a little scallop um, rectangle from the scallop contour dies looks like a placemat. Oh my gosh, so cute. What a fun Thanksgiving card, Karen. Thank you for making me smile um, and sending me some happy mail. I love it. Uh, this one came yesterday from Trina Hillegas using the autumn leaf dies and the vellum layer. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. So happy I got to stamp with Trina um, today. I thought it was funny that her card arrived yesterday. Um, and she's got some soft sea foam, garden green, gold foil here. I just think this card is so beautiful. I love the autumn leaves. And I don't know how it is by you, but here in central Illinois, 
I feel like we have trees that have held onto all their leaves and are just such beautiful colors. And then other trees that have lost all of their leaves. And it's so funny because I was on my walk today and there was like a leaf or a tree that was like fully leafed. And then the next three or four were totally bare. There's like nothing in between. It's either got all its leaves or it's all gone. It's funny, but I'm still enjoying the fall colors very much here in Illinois. Um, this next card is from Jill Pace. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. This designer paper is one that's on sale right now, Delightfully Eclectic. She used it with the um, Gorgeously Made bundle that has that fun little like note paper um, border that you can use. Such an awesome card. Thank you so much, Jill, for that. And then this one is from, oh my gosh, who sent me this one? Um, they sent it with some postage stamps, I think, and I forgot to write the name on it. I'm so sorry. This is, um, one of our kits. So this is a thank you kit and it's actually one of our cheaper kit collections because there's no stamping. All of the, all of the sentiments are pre-done for you and, um, just such a cute kit. I love this one. They're all, all the cards in this kit are like rainbow themed and it's just so fun. Um, so thank you to whoever sent that card. I'm so sorry. I forgot to write it down. Um, and then this one is so colorful and fun, comes from Julia Mazur. Um, and she used this new bundle. I've had my eye on this bundle in the September through December mini catalog, and I've been holding off, but I think the stamp set and the dies are gonna be on sale as part of the last chance list. I'll be sharing details of that. The sale for last chance starts next Tuesday. Um, so I'll be sharing the details on which items are on sale, which items are retiring, but this one for sure with the thermos is definitely going away and I might have to get it so I can case this card. I just love these colors. We've got Granny Apple Green, Daffodil Delight, Poppy Parade on a Blueberry Bushel card base. Um, and it just makes me, it just makes me smile. It just makes me so happy. So thank you so much, Julia, for that card. Um, and I believe the rest of the cards are all doubles from the Great Big Card Swap. If you did not see Tuesday's video, be sure to tune in and see. I shared 65 cards. Most of them were all winter themes. A few thank you cards from last month, including this one, from Wanda McIntyre. She did a bay window card. And so this little tab folds and tucks in there. It's sort of like um, a take on an easel card. So we've got, you know, that it sort of props up like an easel card does. But isn't that just fun with all the layers? All about autumn designer paper and then the pick a patch, um, stamp set and punch. Oh my gosh, I love everything about this card. And this is what my trees look like <laughs> all over the neighborhood. So gorgeous. Here's the same designer paper all about autumn. This is from Sandy Griffin and she did this card. She said she was inspired by Rachel Tessman's three panel scenery Z fold card. It was her first time swapping and she sent an extra card for me. Thank you so much, Sandy. Um, the card that she sent in for the swap that I shared on Tuesday is slightly different. So you'll have to check out that video to see the other version of her card. But oh, I love this idea of cutting up the paper to be able to see the whole scene like that. So I'm gonna have to give that a try. Thank you so much for the inspiration, Sandy. Oh my goodness, Tina Lynn has always got gorgeous cards and this is no exception. She used the Trucking Along Steam Set and the once, or One Horse Open Sleigh designer paper to make this one that opens in the center. Little floating panels here. Oh, I just love it. I don't know if you can see on the camera the glitter that she added to the trees. It is so shiny and so fun and making me, not that I want to rush my leaves away, but it does make me ready for Christmas a little bit. <laughs> Here's a card from Terry Biggs and she used some aluminum foil in an embossing folder. She shared another version of this. Um, so you'll have to check out Tuesday's video to see it. This is a retired um, embossing folder from last year um, with balmy blue and night of navy. This card is from Ross Ann Muncie, and she also had a different version of a card that she sent using the same stamp set. So make sure to check out Tuesday's video to see that. This one is quite a bit different from the other card. Um, and I just wanted to, to share them separately so that you could see them. Um, I just love this stamp set. I can't remember the name of it, but it's such a good one. It retired, I think, last year. 
Um, our next card comes from Amy Marr, and this one too, she did a red version for the swap using the horse and sleigh um, stamp satin bundle. So she embossed with copper and then used the trio corner punch to create um, the decorative edges with the copper um, foil in the background and then some copper snowflakes. Gosh, I love those. Such an awesome card. Um, we've got a card from Pat Stewart. She always has such amazing cards with goodies inside in the little pocket. Thank you so much, Pat, for sending an extra for me. You are so generous and so kind. Our last card is from Rose Spivey, and um, she had, it was a little bit different. She um, fussy cut around the sentiment instead of using the deckled rectangle punch like she did on this one. But isn't this gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I love these alternative colors. Um, water coloring on watercolor paper with some um, orange and calypso coral, some fresh freesia, gorgeous grape, azure afternoon, a little bit of granny apple green, lemon lime twist, daffodil delight. I love all these bright colors, and I think it's perfect as a lead in to our projects tonight using this alternative color um, color scheme. So we're going to start with a Christmas card and then we're going to do a birthday card and then we're going to do another um, then we're going to do another Christmas card. So the first card we're going to do, I'm, I'm looking around trying to decide what I want to do. I wanted to use the, I think you just saw a glimpse. <laughs> the first card I want to do is this one with Marius Trees. And um, I'm kind of excited about this because um, I think it turned out really cute. And I made, I made these cards with Stamp Club and they were really excited um, about this one. So I'm using Pretty Peacock for the card base. And then I have a piece from the inside. This is Whisper, not Whisper White. Ah! Basic White, four inches by five and a quarter. Um, and then sometimes when I do my layers, I like to just kind of do something easy. So this is the card front is four and a quarter by five and a half. And so I did, um, this one is three and a quarter by four and a half. So I just took an inch off each side and then to layer onto that, I just did up one quarter inch. So this is three and a quarter by four and a half and this is three and a half by four and three quarters. I'll add the measurements to the video description for you. So it's okay if you don't write them down. Um, now I did do some prep work. I took this piece and I cut it at an angle. And then I also used a new embossing folder. Isn't this one fun? Um, and I embossed that cardstock. So I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna use the one that I already embossed um, to have that ready. So I kind of just like how subtle that is. Um, and then I have a little piece of um, white cardstock that is three quarter inches by two and a half. This is gonna be for our sentiment. And I die cut some leaves, not some leaves, some trees. Do you recognize this designer paper? I'll give you a hint. It's from the annual catalog. <laughs> um, I thought this was so fun to have sort of like a rainbow decoration for the tree. And so um, I use this designer paper and this is also cut from designer paper. Maybe this will give you a hint with the circles on the back. Maybe not. Um, I'm going to show you. So don't worry. <laughs> um, okay. I think I've got all the pieces that I need except I need a scrap of, um, I need a scrap of white to do some additional um, stamping. Let me grab that. Okay. All right, any guesses? Yes, Susan says from the balloon bundle. It is the bright and, oh, what is it called? Bright and beautiful? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think it's bright and beautiful. Um, ba, ba, da, da, da. Yes, bright and beautiful. So in the annual catalog, it's on page 14 and 15. And yeah, it has the balloons that go with it. It's very celebratory, very sort of birthday friendly. And let me show you some of these patterns. This is a six by six paper pack. Um, I don't have all the, the sheets here because I've been using it, but it comes with 12 different patterns. And um, each one, of course, is double sided. But this paper pack features the new and returning colors. So we've got all the colors that we're using tonight. Berry Burst, um, Bubble Bath, and some of the Pretty Peacock. And so all those colors are here in that white tree. 
with um, the scallop lines. And I mean, I think you could use any of those and have some fun. But then I also did the tree out of this piece and I'm gonna do some stamping on it too. So a little bright and beautiful, some alternative colors. While I showed you the paper, let me show you a few bright and beautiful card samples. Now this designer paper, as all the designer paper from the annual catalog is currently on sale for just a few more hours during the seasonal sale, you can save 20%. Um, on this amazing paper. So I just wanted to share some inspiration for you, maybe inspire you if you're thinking about placing an order um, to get some, some fun things. All right, so, oh, my stamps are buried over here. I'm, I'm almost too organized tonight <laughs> because I was getting things ready and um, they're just layered on top of each other. Okay. <laughs> oh, this stamp set, Various Trees, has a large tree stamp. And let me show you that one. It is big. Okay, that's going to take up most of the card. Then there's some detail that you can put on that tree. There is some words to put um, on a smaller die cut tree. And then there's a bunch of other little accessories, like the gifts and the star and the bow and the ornaments and the tree trunk. So for tonight's card, I'm going to use the detail stamp to add some detail to our little um, tree. And then I'm also going to use some of the presents to stamp and cut out and put under the tree. So let's get out our grid paper. Um, I actually have multiple grid papers that just get buried under things. <laughs> and so um, I had one out, I just don't know where it went to. All right, so let's start with that detail on the die cut tree. Um, and this one has like multiple tiers. So you can die cut it with the small tree or the medium tree or the big tree. And um, it works out just perfectly. Same with this big stamp. You can die cut just the top or just, you know, the top three quarters or the whole thing. So I think that's kind of fun that one tree um, can die cut into different sizes. And so the dies has three different sizes that are all actually four there's like the tree top so uh, no five. Oh my gosh the very top of the tree and then the top top and then the top 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 and then the top 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 and then the top 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 <laughs> oh my gosh I should go grab um we had such a beautiful card I don't remember who it was from on Tuesday night using this bundle and it just made me smile so much it was the toppling tree and it used all those like dies to die cut that I just thought that was so much fun okay so here is my um added texture onto the die cut so just something subtle like it's not really big but it just adds a little a little bit to our tree um while I've got this um ink pad open I'm going to stamp the sentiment and this one comes from the set it's um hoping your home is filled with the spirit of the season I love that okay so that's gonna go over here. And then for the inside of the card, I just wanted to add um, a little bit um, of stamping. And so I'm taking the Merry Christmas and the smaller tree from the Berry Cute stamp set. So this sort of reminded me of the tree and I needed a smaller tree to go in the corner. And so um, that's how I landed on this one. So for this, I'm going to use um, some of those other colors, Berry Burst and um, Bubble Bath. And I know you guys are probably like, Julie, trees are not pink, but someone's tree, someone out there has a pink tree. I just know it. Um, <laughs> I wanted to incorporate these other colors. So I'm bringing, I'm bringing in the, um, I'm bringing that in. Um, also, I'm going to add a present in the Pretty Peacock just to kind of tie that color back in. Okay, so that's really inside of the card. And I need to stamp some presents, but none of them are going to be purple. Not purple. Peacock. So let me grab my um, cleaning pad and clean that really quick. Okay, so the presents are going to be in... Um, Berry Burst and Bubble Bath. I'm gonna do the long one here. Ooh, perfect. Um, so I have to know, have you guys started your holiday shopping, your holiday gift shopping? I have not. Um, actually, I did buy myself a gift today. Does that count? <laughs> 
I was gonna give it to somebody as an idea and then I was like you know what I'm just gonna buy it because I want it and I'm willing to like have it set under the tree it's a calendar for next year I get it every year and I just love these little page a day calendars and so um I bought it with the intention that someone can wrap it and put it under the tree for me um I just don't care <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Um, mom was asking for some gift ideas for the kids and for us. And I, like, I just feel like I don't want things. I don't want anything for Christmas. Um, I just want to spend time with everybody and just be together. Um, and really more have experiences than just a bunch of presents under the tree. So I don't know how to answer that question about what I want for Christmas. What do you want for Christmas? Stamps, of course, right? <laughs> In fact, if you want stamps for Christmas and you want to be your own Secret Santa, be sure to sign up for 12 days of Christmas gift box. I've been sending out the invoices and have placed the order for stuff. Um, I placed the first order um, and they'll, there'll be another order, I'm sure. Um, you'll get 12 individually wrapped gifts like this one. This is actually the bonus gift. So you get 13 gifts if you sign up for the full 12 days of Christmas. But there also this year is... Um, an option to do six days. So if you're interested, check it out at tinyurl.com slash Julie gift box. And that is learn more, not lure. Um, although you could lure too if you wanted to. I don't care. Um, <laughs> while I have my stamps out, I'm going to clean them. I need to stamp some presents for my alternative color card. And um, so I have to do that really quick. I also really should have added some texture to my tree for that card, but oh well. Um, so for that one, I need to get out some real red because traditional Christmas colors, right? And then uh, I'm going to do uh, Granny Apple Green, which I know is kind of a bright color, but it's okay. It'll work out. So we're going to do red for the long presents. And, oh, I almost dropped that. And then um, Granny Apple Green and the bow in red. Cuteness. Those are more traditional colors, right? Um, I know. Time is moving way too fast. I can hardly believe that Thanksgiving is one week from today. And I'll, it's just dawning on me all of a sudden that um, we usually do a video on Thursday night. <laughs> so I'm not sure. How should we handle that? Let's take a little vote. I can either pre-record a video um, to go live on Thursday night or we can do a video on Friday night instead and have Friday night stamp therapy. So you guys tell me in the comments which one you'd rather do and that's the one we'll do. I can pre-record a video um, to have ready to share with you or we can um, we can go live and do a, a regular live stream on Friday night. So those are your two options for next week because Thanksgiving is on Thursday. And um, I know in the past I have gone live on Thanksgiving, but um, I, I, I can't promise that this year. I don't, I don't want to promise that this year. So um, I'm seeing a lot of Friday. <laughs> hey, that works for me. I love going live. Sometimes it's hard to record. It's just not the same energy when you guys are commenting. Um, okay, so this one uses Marius Trees. I'm going to set this aside and put our card together. And then I'm going to show you the alternative color sample. Um, let's glue this together. Um, so I'm going to put this one inside the middle. And then we'll layer our front pieces together. How are you guys feeling about this color combination? Are you vibing on this? Or are you, are you not so sure? <laughs> I, I guess the main question is, do you like pink for Christmas? I'm kind of on the fence. I like that it's a different color combination. I, I sort of think it's refreshing. Um, but I usually am not necessarily a fan of pink for Christmas. Um, and I tend to prefer more of the traditional colors. I'm using Stampin' Dimensionals to add the trees to our embossed cardstock. And I'm gonna kind of overlap 
the pretty peacock one. Then we're, oh, that's, I needed to stamp the sentiment for our alternative color card. So I will have to do that momentarily. I am putting one stamp of dimensional on the end because the rest of it is going to fall over here on top of the tree. And so um, I want to make sure that I don't double up on the dimensionals. And then we're gonna do, you know what? I wanna do some more dimensionals. Sometimes I try to limit the dimensionals and not use so many, but we're just gonna go for it. <laughs> These are gonna go um, sort of under the tree, so. Um, I, I try not to go crazy with dimensionals and I do try to limit my dimensionals to only two layers. So we got some under the trees and we got the presents. So that means this larger layer is just going to go on with regular adhesive right in the center of the card. Okay. We have to add some bling because that's just a requirement. <laughs> I'm choosing the iridescent rhinestones. I love these. They're really kind of, some of them are big, um, but they're just so fun and colorful. And I think with the pink in here, um, it's a really, a really fun choice to add the, um, the iridescent rhinestones. So I'm using a medium one and a small one, and I'm just going to add them over here kind of going with the line um i know i know i know i thought about adding three and i just couldn't find a fun place that i wanted to commit to it maybe you could have it over here i just don't know i don't like it so when you make your card at home you can put as many as you want <laughs> i think it could be fun too to put them on the tree but i'm just gonna leave it like this this is my version um and um, there it is. There's our finished card. This embossing folder is in the September through December mini catalog. I can't remember the name of it. Something tidings. Um, Terry, yes, Claire is coming home. In fact, she'll be home on, um, on Monday. She'll be home. We're so excited, um, to see her and to have her back. I promised you a, um, alternative color. And so here we go. We've got our presents. Um, and do you recognize this designer paper? I used the Mary Bold and Bright designer paper. I loved the white background and this one has strings of lights on it, which I just thought was really appropriate. So now I just need to add the sentiment. And I think I want to do this in real red and kind of tie in that color again, because we already got a lot of the green going. So let me clean this really quick. Actually, while I'm in here, I'm just gonna scrub these other stamps. Sometimes at the end of the night, I'm so tired and I don't wanna clean my stamps and I just, I leave them. I just like, walk away from the table for a little while <laughs> and sometimes all night long. Um, let me clean this one too really quick. Okay, so we're using this one with some real red and you know what's going to happen I'm going to ask you this or that and you guys have to let me know if you prefer the pinks and the peacock or if you prefer the red and the green so be ready <laughs> be thinking about your answer Let's add our Stampin' Dimensionals. I gotta do this one right. This is gonna go over here. And you knew this was gonna happen, right? <laughs> I just wanna move this over a little to overlap because I want to see the edge of the tree a little bit when um, I want to see the edge of the tree like this edge when the greeting is on so that's why I moved it over okay let's add our our presents oh it's so fun I don't know I kind of I think I like the pink one. 
Um, the one thing I do wish that I added was that stamped, um, the texture on the tree, because this is solid cardstock and it wasn't designer paper. I didn't, there wasn't really a good shaded spruce designer paper to use for this one. So, um, you know what, maybe we'll add the, um, maybe we'll add, the, oh, what's going on there? It doesn't have a glue dot. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm going to add the, um, things, <laughs> I can't think of the word, the rhinestones to the tree, um, instead is that, is it too much? I feel like it's too much. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to do an odd number, but this is six, but it still looks like an odd number because it's three and three. Anyway, I'm going to do that. That's kind of fun. What do you think? <laughs> okay, it's time. This or that. Which color do you prefer for our Marius Trees card? Leave a comment and let me know this or that. Um, oh, the pine needle embossing folder. Sharon, what a good idea. I love that. I'm sure I have it. I just forgot about it. Let me show you some more samples using the Marius Trees Bundle. This is one that I haven't had a chance to really play with and do a lot yet, but I do plan to um, to make some more cards with it. Um, so watch for more to come. But let me show you some of the cards that I've received um, as swaps. They are just so amazing. This first one comes from Margo Richardson using the Winter Meadow designer paper. So we've got Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock for the background. Isn't that just pretty? I love it. Um, this one is from Jill Olson, and she used the um, music note background embossing folder and then some tags, and here you can really see the detail on that tree. It looks like she did some sponging or some kind of effect to the tree because you got like a little bit lighter and darker at the bottom. Um, this one was from Kathy Groovy from our Team Swap. I love those colors with balmy blue. This paper is from A Walk in the Forest. And then Garden Green with white embossed um, words on it. The, the crushed curry star and a little splash of red with the ribbon. And then our last card is from April Booth. I love that, April. We got three different trees here. And here you can really see it's the same stamp stamped in different colors, and then um, and then die cut with the large die, with the, the four tier die, with the three tier die, so you can have um, all, all of your different sizes of the trees. Just so beautiful. So that's the Marius Trees bundle, and here's my version with the bright and beautiful um, designer paper from the annual catalog, which is on sale today. <laughs> okay, so our next card is going to use the same color combination as all three cards tonight, Berry Burst, Bubble Bath, and um, Pretty Peacock. And um, I wanted to use a different designer paper from the annual catalog. So for this one, we've got Berry Burst for the card base, a piece for the inside, which is um, four by five and a quarter, a little bit of designer paper to go on the bottom, another piece of designer paper that's one and three quarter inches by four, um, a piece of white cardstock that's one and three quarters by two and a quarter. I'll have all the measurements in the video description and I will double check them. I'm not going to tell you that one because I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> and then um, I used the new punch to punch a little um, label. So this is the, um, move this box over. Um, I'm using, I've been dying to use this one. I keep talking about it. The Curved Occasion stamp set. 
and the coordinating um, curvy label or whatever it's called punch. Um, and so this is such a fun one. And I shared some samples that I received from um, some of my demonstrator friends. This one from Julia Mazer and this one from Barb Price, both using the roller skate. I think that's so fun. Um, and so this is my first card with this bundle and I'm really excited to play some more with it. I just think it's got some fun images and I love a good punch. And so i um, finally using that punch. So I have pre-punched that piece here. Um, and do you recognize the designer paper? The designer paper is the masterfully made paper from the annual catalog. And um, like I said, it does um, have some of the um, colors in there. So Berry Burst, Bubble Bath, and this one is on sale like the other designer papers. This is the one that has the torn paper, right? To make it look like flowers and to do fun backgrounds. We've got like um, mountains. This is a full 12 by 12 um, design. And um, so there are six different patterns, 12 by 12 paper. I think I'm missing a pattern here. It's probably the one I'm using. <laughs> um, and so I, I pulled the colors from here. Here's another card that I did with the same color combination using the gorgeously made um, suite with the um, stamp set and that notebook paper. This one uses the um, the white center cardstock where you can, um, I used an embossing folder and then sanded so you can see the white inside. Um, so we're using the same colors um, tonight to make this card with a curved occasion stamp set. And so I'm gonna stamp the birthday cake and the happy birthday sentiment. And then for the inside, I wanted to do some words. And so I pulled the layering leaves and the so happy to celebrate you stamp. So that's where that one comes from. And that's just gonna go on the inside. So actually I'm just gonna start with that and um, stamp this. So happy to celebrate you. Go ahead and put this on there too. Look at that, we're almost done. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, so this is going to go on the inside of our Berry Burst card. Now this card, I feel like the layout is pretty simple. Um, and you saw there's really not a lot of pieces to it. Um, but you could easily layer it up if you wanted to. I was thinking that you could add like another layer of Berry Burst um, cardstock and just like emboss, you know, the layer if you wanted to add some like extra texture. But I prefer the um, the simple version. So um, let me let me glue some pieces down and kind of give you a vision for the card. And then we're going to do our stamping and coloring. So we got the pretty peacock cardstock that's going to go kind of top center. And then over that, I'm going to layer the designer paper. And this is only four inches, so it's not going to go all the way across. You are going to have a little um, bit of space on either side. And as I'm looking at this, I'm realizing that this pattern has words on it. And my words are going vertical instead of horizontal. So no one will notice, right? Um, then we're going to add our our image that we're going to color. And we're going to put the, um, the curved layer on top. So that's where we're going with the card. Let's do our stamping and our coloring. And then we'll finish up the card. So for this one, I am using Memento Black and then some markers to color. And part of that sale that's going on right now that ends today, uh, the seasonal sale, part of what's on sale is the markers, including the Stampin' Blends and the regular Stampin' Write markers. And so if you've been wanting to get um, some different colors, if you've been wanting to um, try some Stampin' Blends, hey, now is a perfect time to stock up, to um, get some of those new colors that you've been wanting um, and save a little bit. So all the inks are on sale 15% off um, until 11.59 p.m. Mountain Time tonight. So really just, just a little bit longer, just a few more hours. Um, all right, so our, our cake, I, I did one that was pink and it's sitting around here. Actually, it's right here. Um, Here's one that I colored earlier, and I just thought that the white, or the white, the pink label over the pink cake 
I don't know, it just blended in too much. So I decided to keep my cake white and instead I'm going to use some um, Wink of Stella just to add a little sparkle and just kind of make our cake fun. Um, I, I bought a new one recently and I don't know where I put it. I need to find it. So this is actually an older one and um, I don't know how well you can see that sparkle. Um, here's another one that I had. I really need to find the new one. I feel like most of these are just out. Um, this one might have a little more to it. It's always hard to see on camera, but Winko Stella is just such a fun way to add a little sparkle, a little glitter to your project. I think that one worked a little bit better. Can you see it? Just like a little gold sparkle. Um, so for this one, I'm going to use Berry Burst. And I don't have the Stampin' Blend if there is one. So I'm using my regular Stampin' Write markers to color um, with Berry Burst the large flower. And then also I'm going to stamp the, um, the cake stand. And usually I like using the Stampin' Blends because you don't see the marker lines, but since this image is so small, you don't have to worry about the marker lines as much. Next, I'm gonna take bubble bath and I'm gonna do the small flower in bubble bath. And then for the leaves, I'm going to do that um, Lost Lagoon. And I don't know if Lost Lagoon is more blue or more green. It really just depends on what you're using it with. So um, I think it works well for leaves when there's no other blue, I think it looks more green. Um, okay, well here is the cake and I don't know, you can decide which one you like, but I am going to add the rhinestone, which I think just makes it so much cuter. And I'm using a medium and a small one. There's also some large ones, but I'm using the medium and the small here. And then um, the tag, the little label, is going to go on with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And the regular Stampin' Dimensionals do fit. It's kind of tight, but they do fit here. And then this is going to go across the center. And then um, and then this is going to go on the card with Stampin' Dimensionals. Felicia, I see your comment about rejuvenating the Wink of Stella with some rubbing alcohol. And that's actually what I did on the first one I used. And it's just not as strong. Like it's kind of watered down um, compared to like the original Wink of Stella. But I have been using it that way. It's a nice way to kind of... Um, get the last little bit out of your <laughs> Link of Stella. So um, such a good idea. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I'm so glad even to hear that you use all kinds of colors on your Christmas cards. So what are your favorite color combinations for Christmas? Um, I know this one is a little out of the box, the pretty peacock and the berry burst and the bubble bath. Um, but what are colors that you guys like to use for um for Christmas cards or just in general, what are some of your favorite color combinations? Here is our finished card. I'm gonna bring in my original sample just because um, it has, oh, it has a little different, um, the, the designer paper, this one has a little bit of blue in it and um, this one has less of that blue and I like, I like the less blue, but it's the same card, so. Here's the card. <laughs> um, again, if you wanted to dress it up, you could add like a layer of um, Berry Burst cardstock, like four by five and a quarter and do some embossing. I think I would use like the Time Worn type um, embossing folder just to add like a little texture, but I really like the clean and simple. Um, oh, this one had the inside though, so here we go. <laughs> my, my other sample didn't have the inside. So there's our finished card. 
card number two using our fun color combination tonight. Um, and I do have an alternative. I almost forgot I have an alternative color combination to show you. So originally when I was designing the card before I decided on the color combination, I was using lemon lolly and fresh freesia and some bubble bath and soft sea foam. So this is actually from the same paper pack, the, the masterfully made. Um, so now you have to tell me this or that. Do you prefer the lighter colors or the darker berry burst for um, for this card design? So leave a comment and let me know this or that. Which of these two um, do you prefer? Um, I'm looking at some of your color combinations. Loving the blues for Christmas cards, Deb. I love that. Um, Susan says navy. Oh, navy's always good. White and gold, red and green, um, evening evergreen. I know I missed that one. Um, and then I saw some cherry cobbler and shaded spruce. All fantastic colors. Um, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of that. I think you guys like this one. Although, yes, of course, Susan, I think the lighter colors are great for spring. So it really just depends on the time of year. I also could see um, these colors being for a wedding, right? And that cake, maybe, I guess the cake has candles on it. You can strategically ink. You guys know how to do that, right? Um, let's try it. I'm going to show you, um, in case you don't know how to strategically ink, you can also use markers, but I find that with photopolymer stamps, the markers on the stamps just don't work quite as well. Um, so I like to try strategically inking or using like a little, I'll show you this little tip. We're going to use a piece of tape, um, to cover the part of the image that we don't want, um, to be on our, um, on our final one. So in this case, if you wanted to use this for a wedding, you can cover up the candles at the top and then you can ink up your stamp and, oh, <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Covering the candles. Okay. And then take the tape off and stamp and you have you have one without candles <laughs> so here here's the comparison so if you wanted a birthday cake with candles you can use a birthday cake and if you don't want the candles you can use the tape trick or strategically ink or use a marker um, to have a cake without candles. So of course, like for a wedding or um, any other kind of cake celebration, a baby shower, a wedding shower. I don't know. I don't know why it makes me think of a wedding. I guess flowers on a cake. Um, yeah. Voila. <laughs> okay. So that is card number two with curved occasions. And we've got one more card with this fun color combination, peacock bubble bath and berry burst. And this one, you guys might be thinking, I am totally crazy. We are going to use um, the Sparkling Season. <laughs> oh, the Sparkling Season stamp set. Yup, we're going to do pink snowflakes because... I don't know why not, right? <laughs> uh, for uh, this card, we're using lemon, not lemon lolly, bubble bath for our card base. Um, and then I've got, of course, a white piece to go inside. Um, I have a piece of pretty peacock cardstock that I have embossed with the um, snowflake embossing folder. I gotta look up these names, guys. I'm sorry, let's do that really quick. Okay, so from the September through December mini catalogs, go to the back and check these out. Um, we have um, Snowflake Sky. So that's this one that I use, Snowflake Sky. It's a larger six by six embossing folder. And then on the first card that we made, this, oh, I'm losing my card, don't go away. Um, this one, I used the Christmas Tidings um, embossing folder that has kind of those fun Christmas designs in the background. So both of those are from the, um, green September through December mini catalog. Okay. And then designer paper, I'm using a three by three piece. Do you recognize this paper? 
It's from the annual catalog, and I picked out something that had the um, the, the, the bubble bath in it because I was trying to keep with our theme. I also have a piece that I have pre-punched using the coordinating tag topper punch. Let me show you this um, tag topper punch. Um, it's kind of fun. It is two inches wide here, um, and it creates this design that is sort of like a half negative half positive image of a snowflake like a yin yang snowflake um and you sort of see this angled tag and these other little um diamonds which i thought went really well with the designer paper that i picked out this is um two inches by well let's measure it really quick i'll have it in the video description as well um, it is two inches by three and three quarter inches and scored at like a, I don't know, half an inch or so. And um, what else do we have? Oh, the punched piece. Um, so I used some of the new glitter paper from the online exclusives um, and it comes with um, Pretty Peacock, Highland Heather and Petal Pink. And I used the inked and tiled punch which, um, do you guys know, let me show you really quick. Um, it's part of this punch pack. Do you know this one? Um, it's from the annual catalog and these come together and they kind of like nest, um, with each other. So this is the one that I use to punch out this shape. And gosh, I really, really, really love the way that that looks behind the snowflake. Like how perfect is that? It was like meant to be. So we're using that and um, and this snowflake season. Okay, do, did you guys guess the paper? Maybe I wasn't clear that you were supposed to guess. <laughs> um, so the designer paper that this pattern comes from, oh, I don't think I got my samples out. So I'll just have to grab it from um, from the floor. It is the, um, eclectic paper and gosh, it really is so eclectic. There are so many different patterns in here with the flowers and the polka dots and the, the sort of loopy design. And Hey, there's that like little X from the punch, um, and some hearts. And there's just like a little bit of everything in here. Um, plaids and stripes. Um, so this is one of those double paper packs that include, um, it's four sheets each of 12 different patterns. So it's 48 sheets. It's huge. 12 by 12 paper pack. And I can't believe how much I've already used of it. Um, so this is just a little bit of that. Like I said, I wanted to bring that bubble bath color back in here. And I thought that the, um, the triangles kind of went with the design on the snowflakes a little bit. So this one's going to be a stretch, you guys. If, if you don't like it, it's okay. You can be honest and tell me. <laughs> All right. Let's stamp some snowflakes. Um, I am going to stamp for the inside just a little, um, a little pattern here. And oh, I'm going to use three snowflakes. Oh, I have to tell you about this stamp set because um, it's different than I thought it was. I thought that it was going to be um, one of those reversible stamp sets that, you know, this was going to be the other side of that and so on. But each of these is a separate stamp. So there is a different image for the detail and a different image for the solid. So I just, it was different than I was expecting. So I just wanted to point that out that um, there is two different stamps and not the same one. I, I think they missed an opportunity. It really could have been a reversible, but you know, I like these better anyway, so I'm not complaining. All right, this is a vertical card. So I'm going to do my um, snowflake design in the corner with berry burst and some bubble bath and some um, pretty peacock. And maybe I should have reversed that. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's just going to be on the inside. And then, um, oh, we're going to, we're going to stamp on the designer paper. Are you ready? Don't have a heart attack. <laughs> Sometimes stamping on designer paper can be a little intimidating because, um, you can't flip it over. <laughs> if you flip it over, um, it's not the same design. So there, there's just a little bit more pressure to get it right. Um, so I'm going to stamp the, um, the snowflakes in the corners here and say a little prayer that it works. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> 
it didn't work earlier. It didn't stamp all the way. So I'm glad that it, it worked that time. Jennifer's asking, how did I come up with a color combination? Um, so honestly, I was working on the birthday card first, the one that we just did. And I pulled the inspiration um, for the colors from that designer paper. Um, and then I just decided, cause you know, I like my cards to match when I do my thumbnail picture. <laughs> and so then I just sort of was looking for other designer paper that had those colors that I could use. And so that's how it kind of all came together. All right. On our snowflake tag, I'm going to stamp the solid, um, bubble bath snowflake. And then I'm going to stamp the words inside and I am using this one which says make the season sparkle oh I love it <laughs> okay our card is coming together we've got our pieces stamped here are you loving it or is it scary <laughs> Um, we're going to start with the inside actually. Okay. So I have two ways this card could go. My original card was just a tag and I thought it would be fun though to add like, um, a little flap to this card. And so I'm going to show you the flap version, but I, I have a finished card that, that shows both. So we'll see. So, um, the little tab is going to glue to um it's going to glue to the back of the white cardstock and kind of be open like this um and actually it needs to be it needs to be over a little bit um does that make sense so we're gonna glue it like that here's what we're gonna do we're gonna put some tear and tape on the tab and then we're we're gonna kind of figure it out. <laughs> um, okay, tear and tape on the back of the white. We're gonna use some regular adhesive, and um, get things ready. We're gonna take the tear and tape paper off. And then um, I'm going to glue down, like push down one side, leaving this one kind of open. And when I close my card, I'm, I'm still holding that piece on the inside. Um, is that too much adhesive? That's gonna be a problem. Hold on. Okay, when you're putting your tear and tape on, <laughs> I'm sorry. When you're putting your tear and tape on, only do one strip closer to the edge. Okay, trust me. Um, okay. Ah! Closing the card. This is gonna go kind of right in the center and the, the fold line right up to, um, right up to the edge of the card. And then this is gonna fold underneath and it is under the white cardstock. From the inside which I already have some adhesive on if you want to you can add a little bit more and then glue that down okay so this is kind of open I don't know if you don't like it you don't have to do it <laughs> okay so um, next up we're going to do the um, embossed piece and this is going to go closest to the edge of the card and I'm just going right to the edge and centering from top to bottom. Okay, so just sort of eyeballing it here. Actually, turn it around because when snow falls, it's heavier at the top of the sky, right? I think that's the right way to do it. And then the paper is going to go on the left side all the way to the edge. And again, I'm just kind of centering. Oh yeah, yeah, that's not centered. That looks better. Okay. And then our punched piece 
I want to glue it here because it's hard to glue glitter to cardstock, but it's easier to glue a paper backing to paper. So I am going to line it up underneath the tag and then glue it down. So when the card is open, it will still be here. And when it's closed, it layers nicely on top of that. It's time to embellish. We're going to use the large rhinestone in the center, and then we're going to add a medium and a small. So we have our three. Maybe we should do them in the middle here and up here. Nope, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm allowed to change your mind. When you do your card, you can put them wherever you want. But I like that kind of two up there. Make the season sparkle. Okay, so here is the version of it that um, that just has a tag and doesn't have like it doesn't it doesn't go on the inside. So I just cut it off and I put it on with Stampin' Dimensionals. The thing is, this just like folds up there's nothing to hold it down so I kind of like that it has like a fun flap and once it's like in your envelope it'll be you know it'll be okay oh see here's where I didn't stamp all the way I told you <laughs> it's okay um I'm going to add some rhinestones and you know what I'm just going to kind of cover up that corner <laughs> cover that little bit that didn't get stamped all the way on that one okay well I see a lot of comments that you guys love this color combination and that makes me really happy. But I really was worried, especially with snowflakes, that you would not be on board with pink snowflakes. And so I made a version that uses blue because that's what color snowflakes usually are. <laughs> for this card, I used the same embossed piece, Pretty Peacock, and then Balmy Blue for the card base. And this designer paper comes from A Walk in the Forest. Do you recognize it? So for the stamped image here, I used Balmy Blue and Pretty Peacock. So our last this or that of the night, tell me which of these two do you prefer? Do you like the pink snowflakes? Are they a little different and fun? Or do you like the pink or blue? <laughs> so Bubble Bath or Balmy Blue, I see your suggestion, Felicia, about using a bone folder. And like that helps a little bit, but it still just like wants to, wants to pull up. So I think like once you have it in an envelope, you know, like it'll be fine. Um, it'll eventually like train itself or you could put something like um, a punch on it or something like that and it'll, it'll hold it down over time. So um, I'm not worried about it. It'll be fine and it'll be fun um, to open. So, um, oh, <laughs> Uh, Shelly, you have to pick. You can't pick both. It's pink or blue. <laughs> um, I don't know. If you did both, it would be purple. Oh, fresh freesia snowflakes. That could be fun. <laughs> um, I, you guys are pretty torn on this. Some of you really love the pink and some of you prefer the blue. Um, pretty Peacock, though, is on both of them. And you just can't go wrong with Pretty Peacock. It is truly one of my favorite colors. And I'm so happy that it is back. Okay. <laughs> So let's review the cards we made if you are just joining us. You'll have to watch from the beginning if you're just joining us because you missed out. Uh, but we made three cards tonight and we used the same color combination on all of our cards, which is Berry Burst, Bubble Bath, and Pretty Peacock. I hope that maybe you're going to give these colors a second look. I just love them so much. And um, I hope that you do too. Let me know which of these is your favorite. Um, and if you don't like any of them, I understand. No. <laughs> I hope that if you're struggling with the color combination, that you will try these layouts and try these cards with other colors. And I've shown you some alternatives for each card tonight um, to show you how you can use some different colors and create the same card. So thank you so much for tuning in please make sure to give this video a thumbs up 
maybe two thumbs up. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and don't forget to come back for more paper crafting videos. Oh my gosh, if you missed out on yesterday's video, be sure to click on that one next. I did an unboxing of my January through April mini catalog pre-pre-order um, and shared some card samples with some brand new things, a few sneak peeks in there. Um, that you don't want to miss. And then of course, Tuesday we did the swap video. And so that was so much fun. So many inspiring, um, projects that it was our winter holiday theme. So we had a really great, uh, selection of cards there. So make sure to check that out. And of course, this coming Sunday, um, mom and I are going to be doing Sunday stamping. So tune in at noon central time for Sunday stamping. Um, to see what we've created with the Berry Christmas Suite. And I just am seeing this out of the corner of my eye. I had a couple more projects to show you with the eclectic, delightfully eclectic designer paper. So I'm just going to sneak these in really quick. Um, this one is one that I created with the layering leaves and the patchwork pieces dies. I just love the way that it worked out. I used two different um, patterns of paper from that paper pack and then an embossed image as well. Um, and then here's one that I I made with the refreshing something refreshing um, bundle and I used the lemons which were just so random in that paper pack but it works so well um, and then lastly this card from my mom Susan LaCroix she used an embossing folder to emboss a piece of that designer paper to look like a quilt I thought that was so much fun um, anyway I think if I forgot to ask, I'm going to ask now, which of these cards was your favorite? Which one are you excited to case or do you feel inspired by? Um, I saw, I saw a comment. Oh, um, Marilyn says she was partial to the tree. Um, so I, I love that. I think that that, I thought that that one would be, um, a favorite of the, um, of the cards tonight. So let me know what you think. Thanks again guys for tuning in and spending Thursday evening with me. I think based on your comments, we are going to, um, we're going to do next week's video on Friday instead since Thursday's Thanksgiving. So if you are not doing anything for Thanksgiving, um, then just spend some time on my channel and look at some past videos and rewatch some favorites. There are many, many, many hundreds of videos, um, to catch up on. So um, you can do that on Thanksgiving, and I will see you guys on Friday next week for Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. So happy Thanksgiving, um, and thanks again for tuning in. See you next time.